Hey everyone, welcome back to Judah Highlights. Next up, we've got the 66 kg category winner, Anbal from Korea, which makes two gold medals for the Korean team at the Doha Masters 2021. So this is An's first matchup for the day, and it's against the Australian Cats Nathan, where this match ends pretty quickly, ends up going to the ground, and then unfortunately for the Australian, there's a little bit of an injury. So here we are now, resets, and An gets a nice little trip, goes to the ground, and An decides he's going to attack. So ends up getting the rollover, and then it's not quite neon belly, but the Australian ends up hurting his rib somehow. You'll see here in a second as An uh, flattens him out onto his back. So he's just working for head control now. So he's securing the position just locking up the top part before he ends up trying to move that leg out of the way and just as he slides his knee across there not it seems like the Australian popped a rib or something but a bit unfortunate there and Arn moves over to the third round so next up against a Brazilian uh, Carrigan and Daniel who likes to bring things to the ground quickly as he tries to set up a Sankaku but uh, Kim knows how to defend it well. I like that little move there where he's crossing his arm across his body and pushing the ankle out of the way. Good defense on the Kataguruma. Now, Arn fights a little bit different to his teammate uh, Kim. He prefers a lower position on his lapel hand. Kim is much more over the top. And Arn's really good at getting inside trips or outside trips. He also has a really good Seoyunege, like most of the Korean team does. Now the Brazilian gets a bit of a feel for the Uchimata in this contest, but An defends really well. And as time progresses throughout the match, uh, the Brazilian starts to slow down a bit and An starts to get off his offense. Dropping down for Seirunage again. Now this was uh, quite a long match for Arn, but not the longest. Uh, the semi-final ends up going nine and a half minutes. So you're probably wondering why this video is really long, but that's because Arn had some really long matches, some really difficult matches uh, on this day. So here he is going to the ground again. Not sure I would uh, advise anyone going to the ground against Brazilians. They often have a good background in Jiu Jitsu, but An seems to trust himself here. And he's on the arm, looking to secure an armbar here. Now, I'm not sure if the Brazilian is just really tough and he's doing a little bit of a Tony Ferguson here but he's not tapping and then the referee eventually decides that he's seen enough and he'll stand these guys back up so we're quite a way into a golden score now lift us right and the Brazilian drops down again this is not looking good for him Ends up getting the Shido for dropping down, and that makes three, and he is out. Moving on now, we've got the quarterfinal, and he's up against the Mongolian, Yondon Perinile Bashku. Really sorry that I can't pronounce any of these names. So right off the bat, you know, the first couple of seconds, of the match, we've got a nice foot sweep. Could have been Ipon. But then after this, the Mongolian realizes that he really needs to get a score on the board and ends up uh, pressuring, moving forward quite a lot, 
trying anything you can to just get a score on the board, but uh, Ahn defends well. Especially with that uh, inside lapel grip right around the chest, it's quite easy to stop people from coming in. It's quite easy to stop, you know, typical Mongolian grips around the back. Dropping in for Seoin, I guess. He's obviously willing to give up a few Shidols. He's already ahead. Playing a strategic game here. And they go to the video here. It looks like the Mongolian kind of did an illegal uh, attack on the elbow. And they eventually go and check it, but they don't see anything in it. And the action continues. Once again, we've got the Mongolian attacking ruthlessly. Some judo that I've never seen before, but he's trying his best. And on with that inside position again, keeping him out, defending well. Staying alive, not dropping to his knees. Unless uh, attack presents itself, and he's trying for the Seonage again. Which leads into this Nawaza here, and An realizes that he can waste time down here. He's not trying to pin him, he's not trying to, you know, get a submission. He's just trying to wind that clock down. And this goes on and on. And I'm really surprised that the referee didn't stand them up, but it eventually goes to the end of the time, and An moves on to the semi-final. So I'm going to fast forward uh, this here for a second. And eventually Arn does get out. He manages to slip that knee out again, just like he did against the Australian. And I'm not quite sure why uh, he gets scored an Epon here and then they take it away, but the match was over. He moves on. And here we are in the semi-final against Vieru Denis from Moldova. And Vieru, he had quite a good run-up to this competition with Ahn. He ended up getting an Ippon. Beautiful Ippon, Taya Toshi against uh, Lombardo from Italy. And then he also got another fabulous Ippon against a Russian fighter, kind of like a Sasai Surikomiyashi. But in this matchup, for uh, whatever reason, he decides that he's going to try his hand at Nawaza and... Quite often it ends up going to the ground, uh, just like this, An goes to the ground, Vieru looks for a Sankaku, they stand up again, and he does have a nice little attempt here with the Uchimata, but An shows good defense, once again Vieru is on the ground, and unfortunately uh, this contest ends up being decided by Shidos. So it ends up being quite the strategic battle, not being able to throw each other, and Vieru not able to get much done on the ground. Vieru looks quite big for the weight category. I kind of wonder how much weight he cuts. Almost a score there by Arn. Nice entry, but Vieru does well to defend. And then here we are, 5 minutes, 24 seconds into golden score. So we see Arn going for an attack. But in the last 3 or so sequences, we've seen Arn go for a Seoinage and a Sode. And Vieru not doing much except trying to get something going on the ground. But the ref, he thinks, right, I've seen enough of this. Another Shido for Vieru. And Arn moves on to the final. Okay, here we are at the final against the Israeli Shamilov Barush. Shamilov Barush. Sorry, I'll get those names right at some point. And uh, Ahn, he comes out strong here. He gets kind of a feel for where the Israeli is weak with this nice little foot trip 
and he builds on that later on in the competition. It goes into golden score, but An eventually wins with uh, Wazari. Now An does really well here to rotate Shamailov onto his back, almost loads him up, ready, ready to throw. But just not quite enough control. Good defense by the Israeli. But An has some good defense of his own. So as you see here, he kind of goes down to the ground, but he doesn't drop down. He stays strong, defends the attack, and eventually, you know, ends up on the back in a more of a positive position than dropping down. So avoiding a shido there. And as I mentioned earlier on, here's the the foot sweep. I kind of gave on that indication that this is where he's weak. The foot sweeps are working well. Here's another good attack there. So avoiding the shidos. And this goes quite far into golden score. See the little foot sweep there again. And that sets up the Seoi Nage. He's got to defend the foot sweep, but that puts him in a weaker position for the Seoi Nage. And An takes gold. He'll be very happy with that. Scoring gold along with his teammate. Two times, maybe, for him. Is that what he's indicating? Anyway, guys, subscribe. There's more to come. Uh, hopefully, in the next day or two, I shall have the 73, 81, and 90 kg category uploaded, as well as some uh, women's judo as well. Anyway, subscribe, like the video. I'll see you again.